Hey guys, got another uh, unboxing video for today. Uh, today I've been handed a copy of Tomb of Annihilation, the new D&D board game by Kevin Wilson, uh, produced by WizKids Games. So let's get this camera down here as it falls over at you. And uh, let's see what's inside. First thing we're greeted with, and I will cover it up so nobody steals it from me, is... Uh, We've got a uh, the, the rule book. Let's crack this open real quick. See what we got in here. Everything you need and want to know about this game is right here. How to play the rule books, the adventure books. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a total of 13 adventures in this book. It's pretty decent. Give you a few minutes of play time. Uh, we can get all of that. Shows you everything there. And of course the rules how to play. Now if you guys would like to see me do a uh, let's play of this with some friends of mine who own this game, put a comment down in the put a comment down below and we'll uh, try and fit that into our filming schedule. Shows you all the wonderful monsters that you're getting. <clears throat> and because this was the Neverwinter expansion, there is a code for Neverwinter to claim a free gift. Which, of course, we won't show that on camera because I don't want anybody stealing it from me. And that. So I'll bring this back into view. You guys can take a look. Everything that's inside there. Look at all of that plastic. So the first thing we'll start with, let's look at this guy. This is, and let me get my little cheat sheet here so that I know exactly what we're looking at. It is the Stone Juggernaut. This thing is just huge. <clears throat> um, I mean, the detail is extremely well done on here. Take a look at all of that. I actually might be quite interested in maybe throwing some paint on this thing, making this thing look amazing. Um, again, comment down below if that's something you'd like to see. Look at this. All this, this is all the other plastics we've got. So let's take a look at some of these heroes here. So we'll just grab a random guy here. What do we got? We've got uh, Dragon Bait. This is a Sorial Paladin. Let's see if I can get a little bit better view. There we go. We have Ashara, the Eric Croker Wizard. Looking pretty sharp there. We have Birdsong, the Tabaxi Bard. Pretty interesting. Um, this is Artemis Simber, a human ranger. Let me see if I can. Yeah, let me change my camera view a little bit so I'm not sitting on top of it. Don't mind all of my uh, games in the background here. There we go. There we go. Much better. Look at that. A much better view. Wonderful. And then finally we have Qua Wow, that's a name. Quasha Q A W A S H A. A human druid. <clears throat> so I got some pretty slick uh, heroes there. Let's take a second quick throw those back in the bag. So I don't got stuff everywhere on this table. Move those up there. Let's grab another plastic bag here. Looks like some bigger stuff. Some other cooler miniatures. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I don't know if anything can beat that stone juggernaut, guys. Here we go. We've got the giant four-armed gargoyle. I have to admit, I've seen the games earlier. If you've seen any of the previous games in this system, the... Uh, the miniature quality has been upscaled quite a bit. They finally stopped uh, goofing around. Here we've got a Gorillon. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like we've got a pair of Terra Folk. Pretty cool. Those would probably take some paint pretty nicely. Um, yeah, again, if you want to see me paint some of these up, put a comment, leave a comment down below, and uh, we'll see if I can fit that into a video scheduling as well. I'm getting quite busy filming. Ooh, look at this guy. This guy looks like the man. Who is he? He is Aserak. I think this is the dude, the Lich Lord. Pretty fantastical deal detail on him. Cute, tiny little. Uh, ooh, definitely got to hide that. Looks like a Groot. Veggie Pygmy Chief. There we go. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Valindra Shadow, Shadow Mantle. Looks like a counter wizard, maybe, druid thing. And then finally, we have Ross Nissi. Looks like... Uh, there we go. Looks like some kind of Naga. Yonti half-breed, something like that. And then, of course, we've got, just so you guys can see them all, we'll just kind of dump them all out. We've got medium and small. You guys can see some of the small guys. Oof. Oh, so small, so tiny, hard to pick up on camera. All right, there we go, guys. And you got a pile, a pile of green plastic. So you can take a look at that. Is everything, including this awesome behemoth sitting right there. Now, I don't know if the color scheme is picking up correctly, but uh, these guys are all in purple. This course is in this light green, and then your heroes are in a blue plastic. So let's uh, sweep all of that off to the side as I dump my camera on the ground. And we'll push all that to the side and let's get back to opening what's in this box. So after that, of course, it does come with your standard D20 because the game is a D20 based system. We then have a giant package of cards, which I'm sure is going to be pretty much everything you need to play. A nice, very openable bag. Won't go through all of them, but we can take a look at what's all in here because I don't want to spoil anything. We've got some traps, we've got some treasures, we've got our monster cards, our encounter cards, spell cards. Oh, more traps and treasures. <coughs> and then finally, nope, there's Ring of Winter, Daily Power. Uh, don't know what that. Oh, Wizard. You get your Wizard, daily, wizard cards, Adventures. Your rangers, your sorial, your druid, your bard, and then of course the uh, sequence of play. So, here you go. We've got a you know your sequence of play. If you've seen these games before, hero phase, exploration, and villain explains exactly how the hero phase works, and then exactly how your exploration and villain phase. Of course, always reference your rule book in case you have any questions about that. So there we go. That looks to be a pier of what's in there. Although there's still quite a bit of house, so let's see if there's anything underneath. And holy cow, take a look at all of that. We've got, let's see if I can dump this out without crushing anything or anyone. We've got an entire, oh my god, I can't even fit it in the camera for you. There we go, we got an entire, like 15 sheets of cardboard. We're not going to open those up. I don't want all those tokens spewed everywhere. Um, looks to be like one's missing, but as I look around, actually it looks to have just fallen off and slid down. So here's everything you need to make dungeon, your dungeons, your adventures, everything. So there's all the stuff you need to play with it. And uh, we'll quick set this all up real quick and show you one final view of everything that you get in this. This does retail at your local hobby stores for uh, $80. All right, there we go, guys. That is everything that is in the new Tomb of Annihilation board game. Get a nice kind of closing shot on that. There we go. 
Tomb of Annihilation board game. You can find it at your local hobby store. If you live near me, come stop by, see me at Victory Games here in Wisconsin. Uh, we can talk about things. We can maybe even play a game of this. Uh, thanks for checking out this unboxing. We'll see you later. Goodbye.